In this video, I'm going to explain parallel and perpendicular equations. Now, when two lines are parallel, there are two lines that will never intersect or never cross each other's paths. That happens when the lines have the same slope but different y-intercept values. Let's look at this visually. If we have the equation y equals 2x plus 2, a line that runs parallel to that would look like this. These two lines are never going to cross paths. When you think of parallel lines, think of the center lines on a road. Now not only is this purple line a parallel line, but so is this yellow one, and this one, and this one, and so on. So there are infinitely many parallel lines to this equation. But let's look at the purple one. If we take two points on this purple line, say 0, negative 1, and 1, 1, we can see that to get from this point to this point, we need to go up 2 in the positive direction and over 1 in the positive direction. So that's going to be y equals the rise, which is 2 over 1, because it's rise of 2 and a run of 1, it's going to give us a slope of 2. And the y-intercept for this is negative 1. So an equation that would be parallel to 2x plus 2 is 2x minus 1. Another equation that would be parallel would be 2x plus 10. So you can see, as long as the slope is the same, the y-intercept doesn't matter, and that is what creates a parallel line. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle or a right angle. The slope is the opposite reciprocal of the original, and the y-intercept does not matter what it is. And remember, in one of the previous videos, we went over what a reciprocal was. If you have the number 1 third, a reciprocal would be switching the numerator and denominator, so it would be 3 over 1. If you had 2 fourths, switching those would be 4 over 2. And that's what a reciprocal is, but in this case, we're looking at the opposite reciprocal. So if you have that 1 third, it's going to become negative 3 over 1. If you have that 2 fourths, it's going to become a negative 4 over 2. And the y-intercept does not matter. Looking at this visually, I'm going to give you an equation that's y equals 1 half x minus 1. A perpendicular line would intersect this at a 90 degree angle. So this angle right here is 90 degrees. You could also have a line like this, a line there, 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 and so on. So there are infinitely many perpendicular lines. But let's look at the purple one we just drew. If we were look at, to look at two points on this, it would be negative 1, 1, and 0, negative 1. If you look at the slope of this, our y is going to equal the rise. We're going down 2, so it's a negative 2. And the run, we're going to positive 1 over. So that's a negative 2 over 1, x. And here, our intercept was again negative 1. Looking at this, you can see that the 1 and 2 were switched, so it's the opposite, so it's the reciprocal, and instead of being positive, it's now negative. So that makes it the opposite reciprocal. So this is just one example of an equation that's perpendicular. Another example would be y equals negative 2 over 1x plus 0. And it would intersect it perpendicularly with an angle of 90 degrees. You can simplify this because negative 2 over 1 
is simply negative 2. So really, all you need to write is y equals negative 2x, and then whatever y-intercept you want. It could be 1, 2, 100, negative 50, anything. Let's do a few examples. This is asking us to find an equation parallel to y equals 3x plus 1. Remember, if a line is parallel, it's going to have the same slope, but a different y-intercept. So an example would be y equals same slope 3x plus 5. For the next one, we could say a parallel line to y equals 1 half x minus 9 will be y equals 1 half x plus 2. Let's look at a few examples for finding an equation to a perpendicular line. Now remember, perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal. So, for y equals 7 eighths x plus 1, we're going to do y equals, so 7 eighths, making that the opposite reciprocal, since this number is positive, we're going to make it negative, and it's going to be negative 8 7 x plus, and the y-intercept doesn't matter, so I'll just leave it at 1. For the next problem, let's say you have y equals negative 9x plus negative 3. So the new equation is going to be y equals, so a negative 9 is the same thing as a negative 9 over 1. So doing the reciprocal as opposed to 9 over 1, it'll be 1 over 9, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. So the slope for the new perpendicular equation is y equals 1 over 9x. And remember, the intercept can be anything, so let's make it a 4. So this is, so this is an example of a line that's perpendicular. 